Most people in life are looking at how do I make a life worth living in retirement with having. When I played into this campus almost a year ago, my intent was a little different than it is today. People often find that when they move towards a city to look for new work, to find some new opportunity, to do something different after they've been through a transition, a life loss, a partner loss, or perhaps a loss of job or employment or business. When I moved here, I realized that they had a Japanese language program which I might be able to play into as a master instructor of that language. Most of my students pass the foreign Japanese language proficiency test not only because of my training of them with my Japanese family, but also because of my training of them towards that exam. That I help them to go through that exam in the proper ways, much like we were taught in our school days of how to handle high school or college exams of competency. Those exams no longer apply today is pretty true that we are facing a world away that has a lot different technological skills than me or you. Most of the children coming in from foreign lands pretty much know how to hack our computers, hack our phones, and hack our lives. And this is where we have failed, at least in my generation, to prepare for the world. The current Biden administration is doing an excellent job talking about the past and bringing us forward about where they're planning to bring us into the future. And we must keep up with the space race and the technological age and everything else in order to stay as prominent players in the world. We also have the human resources that are needed for the world, not for policing, not for monitoring, but for protecting our Earth. America is one of the few places and spaces in the world that still has fairly fresh air, fresh water, and fresh food. We can protect ourselves in a time of COVID for producing a lot of canned food from the shelves, from pantries, and other places. We can protect ourselves a lot of ways underneath the Second Amendment that says we have the right to defend ourselves from abuse. In the world of my life, I've had someone thinking they were going to put my face under the knife, put my body to strife, and openly, I guarantee it was an Indian family or a black family from Africa that thought that they were just going to play with me. My beard is nowhere down to my navel anymore because some bastard keeps handling my face during the nighttime, during my nap time, without my lawful permission or consent. That form of molestation into a man like me is mutilation under the law and that is a felony, you see. It doesn't matter whether the officer is black, white, or indifferent. Indifference is one of those things that is malfeasance which says, I'm going to fail to do my job because I feel like it, because I don't want to help you at all. In life, we have the truth of where is our job, responsibilities, roles, and the rules of our profession. The rules of most profession is there are terms of engagement in how we must behave under the federal laws that govern our industries and our professions and our careers. We also have then the roles we perform in which we have boundaries to where we have power and where we don't in this world. The responsibilities, are, of course, are usually outlined in a job description, which tells us occasionally other duties assigned, but I guarantee you that I did not assign you the right to groom me. And when you decided that you were going to groom my face and cut other parts of hair off me and ruin my clothes and destroy my bags, you committed a major class action felony on you and your entire family and lineage, lineage and heritage. You see, we can tout that black lives matter, but if a black person pounds a white person too bloody, then they have failed their heritage. They have discredited Martin Luther King. They have pissed all over Rosa Parks and any prior person who stood up for the, against the tyrannies of the world. I am glad those people lived. I am pleased they did their job. I am always moved in my soul by the Lord when I see those works of art coming from Hollywood, celebrating the women who saved the astronauts, and things like that, which I saw with someone of my lineage. During a holiday time when I needed some fun, and it was a marvelous film. But that's not the point. That I don't have to have compassion is not true. That I have the right to say to you, get the hell away from me if you're going to abuse me. Don't play with my intellectual property when I don't need you in my life. 
There is a muskrat in the community that runs around pretending as if he's in my life and every other moment his drug addictions just ruin our conversations. I get exhausted with that child who is a mere 35 or 38, whatever the hell age he is, but he acts to me like he's 12. And it's exhausting to me. He wants to be my brother one minute and then he wants to be a shitbag all over my life and my computers, my technology the next with his little friends from maintenance all over the world. And I'm sorry, but I came here to do my life. And what I say to every human being is do your life and don't do damage to other people's lives because at some point that one concept of liability, legality, and lethality will come up in your face. As a gentleman who supports the military, as a person who knows how to find things, as a discoverer of illness in the world, unfortunately, that's what I've been assigned to do. So if I'm pointing at your family, then you better fucking present your papers that say that you have the right to be here. But don't play with my life and don't play with my birth family because I have nothing to do with their lives for the reason that they have lied, stealed, and cheated me out of my life.